This is Code.org, and I want to talk about a few examples for your Creative Coding with Council project, starting with this one. First, let's see what it does. Hit run. Boom. Chipotle, what is your name? Kaiser. Mm, a burrito for sure. Mm, steak it is. And no, no more protein. What? Like I made of money? White rice. And mm, 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 I guess black beans. Oh, no. To accept that? That didn't exist. Oops. Uh, e e cheese. And no, I don't want to type more. And yes. No, no, thank you. Woo! -hoo! All right. So what this does, guys, is, well, it does what is in this rubric. What is this rubric? It is from the Creative Coding with Council Project Planning Guide. This is the how to get an A. And I want to make sure to point out how this program fulfills these requirements. For, uh, for starters, design a class or implement class inheritance. Well, Chipotle is a class design, customer was designed, order was designed, and option was designed. These are all classes that they designed. Notice none are extended, so they're not extending other classes. So these are separate classes, but they certainly hit that criteria. Define and call one overridden, overloaded, static, and or private method. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, and that was this right here. Uh, private methods. I know I saw a few. So I know at least here we do have static methods. Keep in mind what static means. Static means you can call this method without instantiating an object. So I can just do rather than like option my option equals new option. I can just do option dot get choice and prices. I can call this without instantiating anything. Oh look, and here's even a private static method. So they do have examples of that. Use two different data structures to store elements. We have array list. I really don't like how they use the term data structure because an array list and an array list is a single data structure regardless well these are both strings we could argue maybe an object is a different data structure i would like to see a you know linked list or a uh, tree of some form but uh, array list option so those are the data structures they're using you could also just use a straight up array or a 2d array those are data structures manipulate elements in each using loops nested loops and conditionals this is happening all over the place they did a really nice job of this so a nested loop is a loop within a loop look loop within a loop and so this is removing du duplicates and that is happening based on a condition an if statement finally implement more searching or sorting so i definitely know searching And for searching, I'm going to head over to options. So look, is matching choice? Uh, and where's this run at? Is matching choice? Get choice by name. If is matching for choice, find type to find current choice. So this is iterating through and literally searching for something. Sounds like a pretty good way or idea for at least a searching algorithm. Also, this is being used to get the price for that choice. In terms of sorting, guys, I don't really love their layout. I mean, they have removed dupes, but I'm not sure if I would agree that there's a clear example of sorting. You can kind of finagle one out of this. But yeah, this is a solid example of a great council program. Keep in mind, we can always just hit remix and play with it ourselves, add our own content, just to get an idea of how it works. I'd highly recommend doing that, especially if you're trying to get ideas for this project. Okay, that's not a great name for a restaurant, but you get the point. Anyways, onward.